hello guys welcome to this video so in this video we will look at how to build out a microsoft word document uh, viewer inside browser so this is actually the application so here the user can select any word document file that you want to see in the browser so we have a choose file button so we will actually select our doc file so it's a word document right here if i select this word document you will see it will actually show this word document in this viewer you can nicely see read your work documents online with the help of this library that i will show you how to integrate this inside react chairs so this is actually a doc file if you see dot docx word document file microsoft word document file and you can see it contains uh, tables images text formatted text and it is actually showing it in a colorful way you can read all these things uh, online without having word microsoft word you can open your word document file using this application word document viewer and you can just read your documents so for having this we are actually using docs js this is actually name of the library it has got 29000 weekly downloads so we will be using this package to integrate it inside our react js application so let's start building this application so the very first thing we need to do as i already told you we need to install this package so the package name is do doc js so it's a doc rendering library so this is a command that you will need npm i docx preview so install this module so i've already installed it so simply npm i dox preview and you also need def, i will also install react bootstrap for building the ui of the application so you will need three pack packages to follow along doc preview react bootstrap and bootstrap so these three packages i have already installed so you will see the now to get started we will actually write the actual file i will delete everything so this is my app main app.jsx file so the thing we need to do we need to write a very basic functional component so so this is actually the functional component and if you refresh it will you will see app is showing so it is supporting hot auto reload so now you what you need to do right here you need to actually write your jsx first of all so inside the jsx we will actually be having uh, the container class of bootstrap so i will simply require the container from react bootstrap so it will get imported inside the container we will actually have the row as well which will get imported from react bootstrap so we need to give a class name attribute to it these are all bootstrap classes margin top 4 so inside this we will have the column as well so column will also get imported and now inside this we will have a h1 tag which will simply say word document viewer so we also need to have the css file of bootstrap so we have installed the base bootstrap package so bootstrap dist css bootstrap min.cs so it also need to include this file here as well and you will see it has it will the heading will show so after that what we need to do we need to allow the user to simply upload a word document so for that we need a simple input field so margin bottom three so right here we will have a simple form element and inside this we will have the form group and here we will have the form label and we will simply say upload a word document dox so the label will show right here if you see this is actually a label and then we will have actually a 
input field for the input field we need to have the form control so you will basically give some attributes to this so this will be of type file will only accept uh, docs file so docx <coughs> and then we will also be giving a on change event handler to this so whenever you select a file this function will execute this is a custom function that we will make handle file change so now we just need to define this function handle file change So inside this function e parameter will automatically be passed event so just make this function async as well and right here we will actually read the doc file which is selected so if you refresh your application you will see this choose file button here you can actually choose your doc file so after that inside this we will actually get access to the file so you will simply say e.target.files 0 it will get access to that file and then here we will be comparing if that file selected by the user if the type is not equal to so basically essentially what we are doing in this if condition we are checking that if the selected file is not a word document in that case we just need to show to the user that please upload a valid doc file so for showing this error we just need a simple state variable for storing this error message error set error and we will be using the use state hook so initial value will be empty so here we are simply storing the error message error set error and you are using the use state initial value will be empty so here we are simply using this hook function to actually set this error message please upload a valid doc file so if no error is there then we can simply reset the error by again setting the hook function to nothing and then we will basically convert this to an array buffer by using a actual file and we will convert this into array buffer file dot array buffer this is actually the method that you can use so after you convert this to an array buffer we can actually use the package that we installed so the method responsible for that will be so i will just import this package so the method is render async this is a method which will get imported from this package that we installed doc preview so this is a word document preview library and inside this we actually extracting this method render async so now we can simply use this method to render the doc file in the browser so we can simply use this function render async and we will pass this array buffer as a first argument and then the second argument will be the reference so here you need to pass the reference of your word document for storing the reference we will need a to declare a function uh, variable so this will be viewer ref and we will basically say use ref and we will use ref will, is a hook inside react chase it will be imported from uh, the react and basically in jsx we will actually declare a element right here so just after the form is ending right here uh, after this handle file change so just after this form is ending column row just at the bottom here we will render the actual doc file so for rendering it we need to have in a row tag call and then we will have a div tag inside this div tag we will show our word document for this we will attach this reference which is the viewer ref so here we are attaching this variable here viewer ref you can see we are actually made this variable with the help of this use ref hook we are simply attaching it this is actually the location where the word document file will show so here we are having this viewer ref 
so we just need to give some style attributes to this word document viewer so that we should style properties so double curly bracket and inside this we will provide the css property so it should have a border of one pixel solid gray color and then we also need to have some padding as well of 16 pixel you can change all these properties height is 500 pixel of the one document preview and then the overflow property i will set it to scroll so these four css properties we have set of the viewer and now inside this diff section right here your selected word document file will be shown so here the doc file will show So now to render this inside this, we will use the uh, JavaScript code for this to show this file. So we will pass this reference as the second argument, which is a viewer ref, and we will get the current reference. That's all. So if any sort of error take place, we have this dot catch function. We will show the error. We will basically set the error that is uh, an error occurred rendering the document so if any sort of error take place then we are sent setting this error message so this completes your application so if you refresh the application choose your word document file you will see now the word document will definitely show right here in the word document preview and you can exactly see the word document right here with the help of this package and it's a pretty damn good word document view guys without having to use microsoft word if you don't have microsoft work you can directly uh, open the word document files inside react.js application and view it in the browser so i showed you step by step way by which you can integrate this inside react.js all the source code will be given in the description of this video so thank you very much for watching this video and please hit that like button subscribe the channel and do check out my website as well freemediatools.com which contains thousands of free tools regarding audio video and image and i will be seeing you in the next video